The order works to bring order. I clean the mess that follows. Ella. We've weakened the Order. Now what? Now we move on to the next part of the plan. We'll take the Order down under the cover of night. I have an Athenian general to speak with. I'll return to the lumber yard to prepare our next steps. Pebble? It's not safe here. I was asked to pass this to you, Eagle Thunder, by a man in a mask. Pebble, you have to go. And don't speak to any more masked men, understand? It's not safe. Yeah, yes, Eagle Thunder. Man with a mask? Meet me at the graves in Epia. What is the order up to?
Eagle bearer, well met. I see you got my note. Hmm, I'm surprised I'm still alive. That could change. Hasty. No need to be hasty, Eagle bearer. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yergis, the last Magi of the Order. I've been eager to meet you, Cassandra. May I call you as such? I don't really care what you call me. Confident. I like that. Give me one good reason not to put my blade through your throat! Where is Amorgis? Where is my son?! I have the answers you seek, Cassandra. I know what happened in Ahea, in the village called Vime. Vime? What do you know? Tell me! I was there. Things are never what they seem. Your reality is limited to what you perceive. Ride with me. I've been wanting to speak to you. I'll show you how beautiful our world can be. Shall we? One wrong move. I understand. The smallest doubt can destroy the greatest confidence. And we all have doubts. This way. Where are you taking me? Somewhere nice. I want to learn more about it. No, I don't trust you. I followed your journey from the beginning. I've written quite a yeah! bit about you, actually. In fact, some of my most popular work is about the Eagle Bearer. In addition, I've heard of your tales from our friends. The cult? I didn't think the cult made friends. <laughs> Allies, then, if you prefer. world. I spread the word of our doings, of our heroic deeds. Heroic? You call murdering innocents and burning villages heroic? Narrow. The Order sees things from a broader perspective. We do not seek ephemeral peace. Our work is eternal. Naka! Look around us. Such promise. You must be wondering why we have Come on. You. I've killed enough of you to have an idea. Ah, you're a force of nature, Cassandra. Have you noticed? Danger is drawn to you like virtues to <laughs> And so we simply cannot allow you to exist. You'd kill someone because of their blood? Disgust me. We are not the enemy. Station of turmoil, the disruptor of peace. Don't be so quick to judge, Cassandra. There are many perspectives. I know what happened in Vime, how Natakas died. Are you brave enough to hear the truth? I want to know everything. We saw no one at the beach that day. No Natakas, no child. They had escaped. Oh, so we thought, until we heard a cry. It was coming from a ship, 
wrecked on the shore, the soft but unmistakable cry of a child. Elpidios. There was nowhere to run. Natakas tried to resist, but it was futile. The baby was all that remained. Find Amorgis. I'm sure he would expect you to try. What do you want from me? Our stories are written by a rare few who have the power to shape them. It's not every day I can speak to someone like you. There are no absolutes, Cassandra. Not even with tainted ones. You are fireborn with the potential to destroy, but also to warm, to cast a light in the dark. A warmth you try to destroy! People die, Cassandra. Eventually we'll all be forgotten, fading away like a distant dream. Our actions, however, if they're meaningful, will be remembered. Tell me, what do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered as someone who helps others in need. Hmm, insights. Such wonderful insight. Thank you. And now we must part. The question is, will you allow me to live with my life? Leave. Before I change my mind. Your baby. Elpidius. He is safe. That much I can tell you. <sighs> it was a pleasure to meet you, Cassandra. The next time we meet will likely be the last. Natakas. Elpidius. I'm sorry. Extra careful in this area. Everything has a place and a proper order. It is a universal principle none can violate.
Stay hidden. That is. We meet again, Eaglebearer. Good, you're back. Now to set our plan in motion. We will set several fires. The smoke will force the Ilotis to flee and draw Amorgus' guards down from the mine. Striking at the heart of the enemy while minimizing the cost of innocent lives. A wise plan. I will see to it that my men light up the rest of the area. What happened? Natakas died protecting Elpidius. Someone from the Order wanted to meet with me. He was there, Tarius. They found Natakas in the shipwreck. He tried to fight them all. This was Natakasus. I haven't had a chance to... Uh, I forgot I even took it. He's gone. He's really gone. And he's never coming back. I'll never forget Darius. I miss him. Even now. I miss him so much. We'll have time to grieve when this is over. Right now, we know Elpidios is alive. It's time to get him back. Is here. 
Elpidios must be as well. Once we start, we can't go back. They will come at us with all they've got. It's time to attack. The price may be... everything. I know the price. Time to find the boy. It is. Where is Amorgus? The mines! 
But you'll never get around his defenses. Nothing is impenetrable. We'll find a way in. You're insane! Both of you! You're going to tell Amorgis that the Eagle Bearer, the great disruption of the Greek world, is here, at his door. You tell him I'm coming for him, for Elpidios, and I don't knock! I'll take care of the order guards. I need to get to the mines. I'll take out as many as I can on the way. Here somewhere. You can't hide from me, Amorgis. It's too quiet. Stop hiding, Amorgis. Come get what you deserve. Again, Eagle Bearer. You know this can't end well, Yeris. Just walk away. It's not that simple. Amorgis has orders, and I have duties to fulfill. And I have no intention of walking away, Cassandra. After all I've written about you, learned of your feats, I know I can't defeat you. Yet, I cannot simply stand aside. We both have our reasons. For me, it's Persia. Make it through me, and Amorgus awaits you in the temple. Amorgus is using you! Don't be stupid! We don't have to fight! I do this of my own accord, and for my duty and devotion to Persia. The will of Amorgus has nothing to do with it. Your loyalty to your home and commander are admirable, Yeris. But the Order has no place in the Greek world. Everything the Order has done, everything I have done, has been in service of a cause greater than any individual's. So, all the deaths and suffering, that is justified? For the greater good, Cassandra, all things are permitted. I won't lose! Oh! Charge!
Amorgis, today you bleed. Vigilant here. Mother's coming. Arm, aren't they? Moments like these. The moments before the end. If you've hurt my son, nothing will protect you. No man, no beast, no god. He's safe with me, Cassandra. Happy, healthy. And I promise you, he always will be. Think about where we're going, Amorgis. This path can only end in one place, unless you tell me where to find my son. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I can't do that. I once swore to the people I loved I would crush the Order. Believe me, I will keep that promise. You think you can destroy us? <laughs> the Order's plan goes well beyond you, Cassandra. What? Ever the hero, thinking this is all about you. This isn't about any one of us. It's about that most precious of things, peace. This war between Athens and Sparta threatens to incinerate more than just the Greek world. The carnage and butchery have spread to Persia and beyond. The Order has the power to save the world. And so we will. My agents are rooted deeply in every aspect of Greek life. We have seeped into your establishments, your temples, your homes. We are winning the hearts of your people. Through the Order's influence and Persia's wealth, Sparta will end this war. A new chapter in history will be written... by us. 
We have planted a seed in the fertile soil that is the Greek people. And now, peace will grow. Only one threat to that peace remains. You. How could you think I... I don't want a war. I want my son. You don't want a war? You brought one to my door. You're a tainted one. The strongest, most dangerous force the Order has ever seen. You are fire. Only you stand in the way of the Order's purpose. You've forgotten our promise, old friend. Artabanus. I wondered when you'd make your dramatic entrance. Think of the innocent lives that were lost, Amorgus. You claim to want peace, but what good is peace when it's enforced by tyranny? I fought for the greater good, for our children, for their futures. I saved your grandson, and I saved Artaxerxes that night. Do you remember? I saved him from you. Tell us where Elpidios is. I'm sorry. As long as I breathe, I will never endanger the child by letting her raise him. Where is that video? Tell me! Tell me! You cannot raise the boy. With you, he'll never be safe! He's my son! Remind me, old friend. All the orders power. They could not protect you. Not from me. <laughs>
the sun rises, but she also sets. My time is over, old friend. We were protectors, Amorgus. We were champions of Persia. Of the people. I still am our Hvanos. I only wanted to keep our home safe. The world safe. The child, Amorgus. Please. He's on a small island, just off the coast of Messenia. Perfect spot for fishing. The Order will never give up, Cassandra. You and your boy will always be hunted. And he will always have me to protect him. The Order aren't just a group of people. They're an idea. An idea cannot be beaten. An idea cannot be destroyed. Not by blades, but through knowledge, through wisdom, through ideas of our own. Nothing is absolute, Amorgus. You taught me that a long time ago. There will always be tyrants. And there will always be you, my brother. To stop them. Go in peace, old friend. If Amorgus was true to his word, Elvidios will be there. Mother's coming. I don't think his boat can take those waves. Just a moment more, Elvidius. Hold on. Just hold on. over my son 
Every day, every night, Amorgis made sure of it. Thank you. You know, he has a real Spartan appetite. <laughs> Tell me about it. Mother's got so many stories to tell you. <laughs> oh. And you've got some stories for Mother too, I see. Who are you? I am Darius. Son of the Persian king, Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes. You know my father. We've met, but it's been a while. He's a good king and a great father. Persia knows peace. She prospers. I miss him. Keep Persia safe. That is his legacy. It's time. Just a moment longer. It has to be now. This was right. I am fire. I'll use that. A beacon to the Order. If they want to come after my bloodline, they'll know exactly where to find me. But they'll never find... And... What will you do, Darius? Order was created for a purpose. If I can understand our enemy, I can outmaneuver them. I will protect the boy, Cassandra. Be a guardian to Elpidios and to all those who share his blood. When the day comes, when he asks of his matter, <sighs> what should I tell him? Tell him he had a mother, and a father, who lived incredible lives, who saw incredible things, and none of it was as incredible as him. His smile, his love, the sight of him asleep in my arms. Should the day come where he feels unloved or alone, you tell him there is no such day. Because he will always be loved. You hear me? You will always be loved.
You'll fight, and you'll fall. There will be times when you'll think you can't rise again. You'll want to stay down, but you will get up and be this, because you're strong. Because our bloodline is strong, and because we always get up. You'll ask why, and while you'll never know me, know this. You are my son, and I'll always fight for you. You, and those that will come after. Morgus is dealt with, and I have his blade. It's useless. Broken, and the metal is strange. I should find a blacksmith. 